So in this episode, we're gonna talk about something called a HTML symbol, which is something that we're gonna talk about because sometimes when we have a piece of text inside our code, you might want to type some kind of special character or special symbol. And once you refresh the browser, it doesn't actually show it. So there's a way to get around this. And we're gonna use something called a HTML symbol. So if I were to open up my browser here, you guys can see we have our H2 element down here. Now to give you guys an example of what I mean, if I were to go into my code and add extra spaces in between N and intro, like so, save it. You might think that we're gonna get some extra spaces, but we don't actually get any space other than just that one space it recognizes. So how do we get more spaces, for example? Well, if we go in and look at w3schools.com, which is, again, an amazing site for looking up this kind of stuff, you can see that we have something called symbols. Now, symbols are essentially something you call entities. You can type into the code, and then the browser will interpret that as that spe uh, specific character you're trying to type. So if I were to go into my code, and instead of adding all these spaces here, if I want to add spaces, what I can do instead is add something called a entity. So if I type ampersand nbsp semicolon, you can see we get some purple text, which means that my coding software actually recognizes it as code. So if I were to copy paste this many times next to each other, instead of adding spaces, if I refresh my browser, you'll notice that we'll get some more space, like so. Now, of course, there's a lot of different symbols and this site might not have all of them. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have all of them because there's quite a few. Um, so we can, try, we can try and take some examples here. If I want to add a copyright symbol, you can actually see we have one down here and the entity for it is ampersand copy semicolon. So if I copy this into my code, instead of all these spaces and save it, refresh my browser, you'll notice that now we get a copyright symbol. So this is what we talk about when we talk about symbols. And like I said, there's a lot of material online where you can just go and try to Google for HTML symbols. You're gonna get a huge list of all these symbols. Or maybe you know the name of the symbol, you can just kinda Google HTML5 symbol, or just HTML symbol, not HTML5 symbol, and then type the name of the symbol you want, and then it shows it to you. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about symbols. And this is pretty important because a lot of times you do want to add extra spaces or something else, which you can't actually just type into the code. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.